Okay guys, this is going to be my uh, part two of a two-part tutorial on um, cracking WebKey and uh, using the VMware for Backtrack 4. Um, so if you haven't checked out my other video, go ahead and check it out. Uh, it is for actually getting the VMware player and, and, and getting the Backtrack 4 uh, operating system. Now, also, uh, all my videos are recorded in HD, so for best result and easiest viewing, make sure you set the player to, uh, to 720p HD uh, and use the full screen view um, to get the best uh, quality picture. So, um, all right, so let's go ahead and get started. So, uh, in order to use the backtrack to, uh, to go ahead and... Um, you know, uh, crack a web. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and crack um, my own personal one. Um, so um, basically, all the commands are gonna be command line through the console here. It's kind of like running the DOS program, uh, terminal program. So uh, let's go ahead and open that up, and uh, let's go ahead and just get this opened up pretty big. Um, and the first command we're gonna use is airmon-ng. Let me just hit enter. Um, and it's going to show you what uh, wireless card you're using. Now, in my other video, I showed you if you're using a desktop how to uh, how to sync up a, a USB wireless card um, to be used in this program since it's VMware. Uh, now, my interface card name is going to be WLAN0. Uh, so that's uh, whenever I say interface name, that's the name we're going to use. Um, so again, the, uh, that's Airmon-NG. Now, the next command is going to be arrow dump dash ng and space then your interface names so wlan zero enter now what that's going to do uh, is it's going to find the wireless wireless connections in your uh, around you and in your area um, now as you can see there's quite a few um, the mine is is called the shit uh, it's right across the top so um, we're going to go ahead and as you see i have web i have a uh, web um, turned on now uh, there's also wpa2 um, WPA, which is something I'm going to get into in later videos. Um, I'll make a video on how to crack the WPA. Uh, but for now, we're working on WEP. Um, so WEP is what we're going to deal with. Mine's uh, the top one, so let's hit Control-C um, to stop it. Now, the BSS ID, um, the channel number, uh, are going to be the two main, uh, the two main um, things we're going to be looking for here and we'll be using the most. Um, so... Uh, once you have the information you need, the best thing to do is just highlight the BSS ID, right click and copy because you're going to be using it quite a bit and it's a pain to type it all back in. So um, once you have your target uh, or your victim, um, the next command we're going to need to do is going to be arrow dump dash ng space dash w space web space dash c space the channel number and as you see here mine's six so we're going to do channel six then space dash dash b s s i d space your actual b s s i d number so for mine that's what it is so it's going to right click paste then space and then your your interface card name so mine's double and zero enter um, now what that's going to do is it's going to sync uh, it's going to make a direct connection between your card and the wireless uh, router. So just go ahead and uh, just move that aside. Let's go ahead and open up a new a new uh, console window. Let's move that up. And in this one, we're going to do AirPlay dash NG space dash one space zero dash A space the BSS ID number again and space WLAN zero enter what that's going to do is it's you, right now what you did was um you basically authorized the connection of the data transfer from um the card to the router to get what we need um basically to uh get what we need um by way of uh of getting the keys now the most important thing here is once you have this done um you can just minimize it but where this data is um this is what takes so long um, because you need to wait for this to hit thirty thousand. Once you have 30,000 uh, packets of data, um, you're pretty much ready to rock and roll with cracking the uh, the web. Now, when you do that, uh, it's going to put a couple um, it's going to put a couple icons on the desktop. Um, the one we're going to need to work with is web-01.cap. Now, that may uh, put some different names depending on um, depending on the type of LAN card you have or excuse me, wireless card you have. Um, but for me, it's always web-01.cap. So. Um, 
We're going to go ahead and I'm just going to speed this up a little bit to get my uh, data up to 30,000 quick. It's going to do a couple uh, things here to get my data flowing. So we hit 30,000. Ching. Almost there. Now, 30,000 is kind of like the target number. Um, I've seen it happen uh, before 30,000, maybe around 20,000, but the, the easiest way to do it is once you hit 30,000, that's it. Now, keep in mind, this 30,000 can only be met um, as, or this is basically uh, monitoring the, the packets being sent between wireless, uh, the wireless router. So um, this won't go up unless someone's actually using the wireless uh, that you're targeting. So like I said, it can be a long process. So as you see, I hit the 30,000. Um, we're going to go ahead and um, let's go ahead and just open these back up. Uh, and we're going to go ahead for the new, uh, a new command. Uh, the new command is going to be aircrack dash ng and then the name of the file. Uh, and again, mine's web dash 01 dot cap. Just hit enter and let that baby fly. So uh, I actually got it real quick. Uh, my key was found. Here's my web key. Um, that I have decrypted correctly 100%. So this is my web key. Now, we're just going to move that along, move that along. Um, as you can see, getting on the internet, uh, opening up Firefox, let's just go to yahoo.com. Um, I hope I spelled that right. Uh, as you can see, I can't get on. So I'm going to show you that that is the correct, uh, the correct um Web key. So let's go ahead and uh, I'm going to go ahead and airmon dash ng stop lan and let's go ahead and just stop that. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Airmon dash ng stop lan zero. There we go. Okay, so that stopped the driver. So I'm going to go ahead. And I'm going to copy my my web key. Copy and I'm just going to go ahead and minimize this exit that let's go ahead and start the network service and let's go ahead and open up my wireless card okay um well it shouldn't be connecting let's just cancel that um so here it is since i've done this already it's already in there so let's go ahead and just delete it out um so there's my here's my router uh, all you do is hit the down arrow, advanced. Um, let's get this out of there. Um, so there's a couple of different kind of WEPs that are used. The most common uh, is going to be shared restricted if you have uh, something that looks like a MAC address. If you have a name or something, and you know, obviously it's going to be passphrase. And if it's like 16 to 24 characters long, it's obviously hacks. So because mine's in MAC format, we're going to be shared restricted. And we're going to go ahead and just paste that in here and then hit OK. And then connect. Um, so we'll just let that go for a minute. Um, connect. Tanning an IP address. Why aren't we connecting? Okay, 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 connect. Let's kind of just minimize that. Let's see if we have internet yet. Hmm. What's happening here? Well, that is the correct web, and we are on shared. Okay, let's try to connect one more time. Uh, it keeps resetting it. Sometimes uh, backtracks is kind of uh, is kind of goofy when it comes to um, when it comes to using the 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 actual. Uh, the WICD network adapter, um, mainly because if you use your wireless adapter or your wireless card to actually run um, the web crack, sometimes uh, sometimes you have to restart actually backtracks in order to get it to actually connect to it. So uh, we'll give it another shot here. So it's automatically connecting, connected to using. Um, Using the the MAC address that or the uh, the web that I had, um, so let's go ahead and just close this. Close this. Let's try it again. 
And ta-da, there you go. Uh, 